homemade spinach dip. All right, so we're steamrolling towards the 4th of July, as you can tell by the decorations over my shoulder. Uh, we're also steamrolling to the end of, uh, or towards the end at least, of these reviews. 30-something uh, down, uh, 44 total, so we're getting down to it. Uh, so now we've kind of moved in to this, this one's a dip. Um, I mean, they've got guacamole over there. They've got pico de gallo. They've got salsa. I count those because they're all homemade. And this one is the homemade spinach dip. Uh, the classic, again, right out of the 70s. Like, uh, like the last review we did with the three bean salad. So homemade spinach dip, $6.99 a pound. 0.57 pounds, $3.98. Uh, and ingredients. At least uh, spinach, sour cream, mayo, and vegetable soup mix. That's the that's the classic. So, so I was talking with someone. I'm like, they're like, they're like, what are you gonna do? Just eat it right out of the? You know, just gonna eat it? And I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, that's it's a it's a review. I mean, it should stand on its own. And they're like, no, 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 no. I mean, put it on a cracker. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat it. I'm just gonna eat it first. Get, get kind of the feel for it, um, and then I'll throw it on a Ritz. So let's get right to it. All right, spinach dip. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's spinach and it's spinach. I should hold on there. I mean, I think we've all had this, right? We've all had it like in the bowl, like the bowl of bread that they hollow out and then they and they put all this dip in there and you take the bread that was hollowed out and you, and you scoop some up and then some other guy puts his hand in there and he scoops some up. And then some guy puts, you know, either everyone's just grabbing stuff out of there. By the end of the night, you've got this decimated bowl and then people are just tearing chunks off of it. Um, I, I've had that at least. I mean, I hope other people have. Um, all right, let's, let's try it. I mean, it, it looks like spinach dip. It's spinach and mayo and sour cream and... There's something like kind of crunchy in there. I thought maybe it's celery, maybe it's maybe it's garlic or something. Um, I'm guessing it's just bigger chunks of of the spinach, you know, like the the stems. I would assume that's what it is, or it's you know, or it's frozen and it's ice pieces, but I don't think it's that. Um, I said it was. I, I, maybe I was just hoping that it was garlic because I, I don't know what the I don't make a lot of spinach dip. I don't think I've ever made spinach dip. Um, I would think some fresh garlic, some actual fresh, you know, cut up a couple of cloves in here. All right, so I mean, you're not gonna sit down. I get what the person was saying. Now, you're not just gonna sit down and eat spinach dip. I, th I mean, at least most people probably aren't. Um, so, I came prepared. This is more likely how you're going to have spinach dip. So I think it's fair to say, okay, well, how would it be on a Ritz cracker? The nice thing is it adds that salt element, which has always been a problem with the salads at Happy Foods. Um, they're not salty enough for my liking, but this improves it because now it does have the salt. So now we've got a little bit of a dilemma. Not the fact that I ate it and then I had to have it on a cracker and that made it better. The fact that it's spinach dip. Um, it's it's this tastes like spinach dip um so i guess that alone makes it a buy it but then it's like well you know do i like spinach dip or you know is it i mean i'm not the hugest fan of spinach dip am i gonna buy this just to eat um well actually i just did buy this just to eat i'm actually doing this review after i already ate some a couple of days ago so i guess that renders my point moot um so yeah 
buy it. I did. Um, so even if you're not the biggest fan of spinach dip, it's 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 good. It's a nice, it's what spinach dip should be. I wish it had a little garlic in there. Maybe you can mix a little garlic powder in there or actually probably some fresh garlic would be ideal. But just off the shelf, put it on a Ritz cracker. Yeah, yeah. So that said, I'm Ed. That's Happy Foods. And you've been happy fooded.